Hey teachers, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to teach you how to create your own buttons to cutesify your Canvas homepage even more than just your header. Now I have opened up my header that I created on the last tutorial because I like to use the same PowerPoint file in order to create my button so that the colors all match. First, I have my header out. I'm going to go ahead and create a new slide. I'm going to get rid of all of my text boxes. I hit control A to select them all and then the delete key. I like to start with a blank slate. So with your canvas buttons, you will want to decide if you want them to be square or rectangles or a circle or a heart or a star, whatever shape you would like them to have. Keep that in mind as you're creating. So I want to insert a shape for my button. I go to the insert tab then shapes. I am going to choose a circle today for my buttons. So I have this oval shape here. I choose the oval now in order to make it a circle. If you hold the shift key down as you click and drag, it will keep it a nice, perfect circle for you. So I'm going to make my button. It doesn't matter how big I make it because when I put it into my canvas homepage, I can resize it. So here's my button. Now, if I'm going to create this button this size. Make sure all of the rest of your buttons are the same size circle. So I would always come back to this circle and copy it for any additional buttons that I create. So I want this button. I want to choose a different color for each of my buttons. I'm going to go to the shape fill. I already have recent colors because of the header that I made. I'm going to choose a purple circle. I'm also going to make sure that my outline is also purple. And here's my circle. Now I'm going to copy this circle by selecting the circle, hitting control C, then hitting control V to copy a brand new circle. Now what I'm doing with this is to add some cutesification again here. I don't even think that's a word, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to go to the shape format. I'm going to choose no fill and I want an outline to be black. I want it to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to choose a different weight, about a one and a half, and I'm going to put this on here. Now I like to offset things, and sometimes I even like to create another one. I just copied that, Control C, Control V, and I even create another one that's on top of that that then offsets it even again. And you could go with however many of these you would like. Sometimes I even like to do three, just to really give it a lot of character. It's very different than anyone else's regular circle. Okay. One other thing that you could do, you could actually choose for your shape outline to be a um, dashed line. If you like to have dashes on there, you can choose that. You can even, these sketched lines are kind of fun too. It makes it look more um, jagged and sketched, which is kind of fun. So you can play around with those options if you feel like you would like dashes or sketched kind of a look. Maybe you want dashes like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete my lines. I'm going to get one line. I'm going to change it to do a dash. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to hold the shift key while I do this so it keeps my perfect circle even in the dashed lines. And then I'm going to move that. Oops. I guess I'm moving my other one. So my dash lines are on top of it. You could choose to have those dash lines be white or totally different color. It's up to you. So this kind of looks like a sewn, I don't know, patchwork circle, whatever it is. Okay. I have already gone to one of my favorite websites. It's called the nounproject.com. You can search for any kind of image, like an icon that you could use for your buttons. I have searched for a few different ones. I'm gonna start with my home page. So I'm pulling in a PNG that I saved off of the noun project. I'm pulling it in by dragging it onto here. And you'll notice that it has these words created by so-and-so from noun project. I wanna get that off of my icon. So I'm going to make sure I am selected on the icon. Then I press crop. I'm going to crop that part. I'm also going to just bring the corners in a little bit because I don't need any extra blank space for this house. 
Then I hit that crop button again. And here's my house. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put it right there on my button. Now I also want to create some text for my button. So I'm going to go to insert shapes and I'm doing a text box. Drag it over. I'm going to center it because I like to have things centered. I'm going to change this to white so it really stands out. I'm going to change my font. We're going to have this titled home. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it really stands out. I'm going to do 16 point font. We'll put that there just like that. Okay. Now I usually do not save any of my buttons until I have decided all of my buttons are finished and I'm ready to save. I don't do that because sometimes I have to play with this font because depending on the length of the title on your button, you may have to change the font size for all the other buttons. So I would suggest making all of your buttons and then saving them. So I have a lot of blank space on this slide. I'm gonna create another button out here and this is how I do it. I am going to click and drag, make sure I've got everything selected. If I click and drag, it will select any object underneath, of, underneath where I clicked and dragged. So I'm going to right click on a line copy or I could do control C and then I'm going to hit control V and here I go here's my next button and all I have to do now I gotta make sure I get to the back circle we'll see if I've got the right circle or not I'm going to go to shape format and look I know I'm not on that that is the dash line oh no it's not okay so now I need the shape fill I'm going to change that to blue and the outline I want blue I'm gonna keep the black dotted lines how it is. I'm gonna get rid of this home because I don't want that for my next one. I'm going to be creating my math button next. So I pulled in my PNG from the noun project. I don't want those words on there. So I'm going to crop, drag this up, take that off. Ooh. I'm gonna also get rid of some extra space here. I don't need it. Let's bring in these corners. Then I will drag this, make it a little bit smaller, pull it into my button. Maybe I want it a little bit bigger because my home button is a little bit bigger too. Pull that in. And then I just need to change this to F. Done. Second button, finished. Okay, now I'm going to select just one button by clicking and dragging. It will select anything underneath. Hitting Control C, Control V, moving it over. And again, I will delete that. Change this to Language Arts. Oh, see, that's gonna hang off. So I wanna make sure that this one, I'm going to move this text up so it's not hanging off of my button. Then I also want to pull in my reading icon that I've chosen for this. I crop the image, take off any extra space that is not needed. Hit that crop button again, and then I make that a little bit smaller so that I can fit it on my button. Now I need to change the background of my button because I don't want them all to be the same color. I'm gonna choose this one to be green because it's going to follow the rainbow color. And I'm finished with that. I can continue making as many buttons as I want. I had a an image ready to make one for a science button and also a get to know your teacher, an Apple button. But you can keep going. All I need to do now, I'm going to select each individual button by clicking and dragging. It selects everything underneath it. I right click on it, save as picture. I'm gonna title this home button. And I'm gonna do the same for 
each of the buttons. Title this one, Math Button. No, how original. And I go through and I just select them, right click and do save as picture. Language. And there you have it, my friends. You can go crazy creating your own buttons. You can choose your own shape. You don't have to do a circle. It can be a square. It can be a heart. It can be a star. Uh, whatever you choose, you get to cutesify your own homepage. Make it yours. If you have a color scheme in your classroom that you would love to use on your Canvas, Canvas homepage, then go ahead and do it. Bring your classroom onto your Canvas. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it. I would love for you to share it with me. I'm so excited for all of you to be able to cutesify your Canvas homepage buttons. See ya.